All right, so I wanted to take a look at uh, the next test board that I had. Last I covered compressors, now I want to look at the delays. So you can see I've only got four of the spots populated right here. I think that's because the DSP is maxing out and not giving me the option to put a fifth delay in there, and that's okay. I've got other stuff that I could do, so you can see like this is wanting me to assign stuff for one, two, three, four, but on that fifth one, it's set to empty. If I go to delay, you'll see that it is kind of grayed out black, different from some of the other ones. So I could put a compressor if I wanted. Uh, don't, yeah, I could put a course there, but what else? So no delay, no doubler, could do the flanger, uh, could do the harmony, looks like, okay. Uh, looper, noise gate, can't do the octave, phaser, can't do the pitch shifter, that makes sense. Uh, reverb can't do, tremolo can, vi uh, vibe, vibrato, vintage echo can't do it. Uh, probably the best use of this spot is one of the new features that they added uh, here recently in the last update, which is the tap tuner, which I'm really liking. So we'll just go ahead and drop that into that spot. And now we have this. So that tap tempo is controlling each of these three spots right there, how it has that little metronome symbol with the blocks on the side. So this tap tempo is controlling these three spots. This one that says the 72 BPM, I did not turn it on. And uh, we'll kind of look at that. Now, these first two delays are going to be before the simplifier. These last two delays are going to be after the... Uh, or they're going to be in the effects loop of the simplifier, basically. Uh, let's see. I'll just jump into these. So the first spot that I have here is the analog echo, and it's a dotted eighth pattern here. So, so first of all, that's my sound. So some more volume. Playing my Telecaster straight in here. Simplifier, back, back again, and then computer. All right, so... So that's my dotted eighth pattern, and for the tap tempo, so I can just hit, hit, hit. And you see it kind of changes, and it's trying to find where I'm at. Let's drop it down there. Let's set it real fast. Okay, uh, let's check out the next one. This is the Echoplex. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's see. And let's try this one. So this is going to be actually in the loop, and that's probably the better way to use stuff like this would be in the loop rather than ahead of uh, the amp and preamp section there. And also this has got more stereo effectiveness to it because it's coming back and then returning in stereo. I know in my headphones I can hear a big difference there between, say, this one, which is mono. And this one, which is in stereo. Let's hear them both together. And see how they're, they're both there, they're both present, but they're kind of like falling on the exact same note. That's because they're both synced up with this. And I think these are both kind of just normal quarter notes, so what if I throw this dotted eighth in here? Okay. Of course, the dotted eighth is happening first, so then this one is catching kind of both of that. <coughs> Excuse me. It's recovering from being sick for a couple days here. Okay, so doubling up those delays, you can get some cool stuff. And it's cool that they're both synced up to this tap tempo. go really slow now. Okay. 
Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, then let's see. So this last spot right here is not hooked up to the uh, sink. So again, this one's set to 72 BPMs. This one's set to 90. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, they're really playing off of each other. Also notice that uh, these that are sharing the tap tempo right there, uh, they are not blinking. It's all just control from that blink. But this one that does not have the tap tempo assigned is uh, kind of blinking independently of this other one here. Let's, uh, let's combine those again. Okay. And to change this one, what you would do is just kind of hold on it, and then you can access the tap tempo. That's kind of cool. Let's, let's see what happens if we stack those other ones. If I wanted to add that last one in there, I'm just going to drop down to settings and let's say add it in, uh, give it the uh, tempo sync. So I go to board, tempo sync is the bottom option there, and then just turn that on. I think it's thinking. Is it thinking or oh, it's crashing? But it's coming back quick. And did it do it? Uh, let's see. It did not. Okay, so it crashed. Did not make the change that I wanted there for it. Settings, board, tempo sync, delay. Uh, hmm. Well, it does say on. Okay, didn't crash that time. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, so it has this symbol right there, but it's still got the BPM meter. So maybe what I need to do is go to board, second foot switch. These say mash, 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 tap tempo. Set that one to mash too. Okay. And then back out of here. Hmm. It's grayed out on there for some reason. Let's see. So if I was to mash one of these other ones here, what do we get? Okay, so that's the mash on the first one there, the analog uh, eighth note, dotted eighth note. And the amount of mash is giving me the amount of crazy noise there. All right, uh, let's try what the Echoplex's mash is going to be. Okay, pretty wild. Uh, let's try this Dark Crystal one. like that one doesn't get as crazy and this one even though I enabled the mash it's uh, it's not highlighted there so kind of interesting uh, let's see so those seem a lot more uh, in sync now they're not like but uh, you know having the weird stuff kind of jumping in like we had before there everything's pretty linked up that's something we couldn't do before. It was very hard to set the tap tempos uh, manually for multiple delays. So I'm glad this is a feature. I have yet to plug this up using MIDI and uh, sending it a, uh, a MIDI clock signal, but uh, I, I bet that's going to be really cool when I get to that point. <laughs> I could just sit here and just play 
ambient delay stuff, you know, forever. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I feel like I've covered a lot of the features there. If there's anything else specific people want to see, uh, send me a message. And uh, I'll see what I can do there. I guess the next one after delay is uh, Flanger. So that'll be probably the next uh, video that I'll make there. But uh, until then, thanks.